Okay. So yeah, like, it's a fucking bummer. I wish the fucking build would leak somehow. Uh, okay, so I want X on arrow for this, for this, uh, mm -hmm. but I want someone on something lightning based, just as a specialty. I think. Uh, I, I mean, X had one, but yeah. Uh, well, did I, Massimo have a lightning weapon? I can't remember. Um, I the new one I gave him is massive lance. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not elemental. I think, I think X was your guy. What what's weak to wind here? Uh, so I gave him arrow. What what's weak to arrow here? Oh wait wait no 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 there's fire uh, fire beats thunder thunder yeah so what's the arrow buster for but like what about the thunder buster like are they comparable no well, they're not they're, they're not we... even comparable it's like twice as strong yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no that was all I was asking oh okay yeah no it's not even comparable you get the thunder attribute but it's like it's there's a it's damage about, it's about it's just under fifty percent or just over fifty percent of the strength so yeah maybe it is worth sticking with the arrow buster for the time being then okay but you might have to sub in like. Like there are thunder sub weapons, well, right? Well, that's well, well, that's why I was saying like, uh, yeah, give them. We'll give them, um, because I gave them power charge. I can give them thunder missiles to make up for that, perhaps. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll give them. I'll give Massimo thunder missiles. Uh, at least one. I mean, he just needs one, really. But you only have one thunder missile. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he'll do that, and you'll keep melt on. That's fine. That will do. Everyone's life is okay. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, more or less. Man, like, it, it's it's just it's crazy how. No, un... no, no! What are you doing? There's two doors in this <laughs> room. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's crazy how one franchise could be so unlucky. Mega Man, yeah. Well. So unlucky at you know like, yeah, you're clearly blocked off. Um, yeah, I had, it on had, so many titles at, it, you know, one after the other. Like, it, it sold fine, but then standards for sales rose, and it stopped selling fine, and it started selling downright poorly, and, you know... It's not but, as though it didn't have a lot of chances. It, it had its shots. Yeah. It had its shots. That's not, you know, no one's gonna say it didn't. Yeah. But, um, the fact that, like, we had... How many games? Four? That just never tanked? That, yeah. that never took off, rather. I mean, there was the three MMO, that, which is like, okay... Who, three that oh, were announced. Who, who even... I always thought Mega Man Universe five, didn't five really games. look that special. Three games that were announced, and two games that were never announced. The Armature one, which didn't get off the ground. The first person one, That's and the Armature the, one, yeah. And the one that, um... Uh, Bengus worked on. Which one was that again? Uh, another one that was shown off... In, in Mexico or in, in South America somewhere. Okay. Uh, it's crazy. No, How it's a bummer, yeah. Yeah. It sucks. It's not the only one. Like, Castlevania got that, too. It sucks. What's pro what's the worst that's happened with that? It, it The series is over. <laughs> oh. Mega Man can still come back. Castlevania's done. You know, like... I don't, I don't really see Konami making another Castlevania w anytime Iga? soon. Well, I no, I mean, like, Iga's gone, like... I just mean, like, what are they gonna do with it? They're not gonna give it back to Mercury Steam, because that didn't work out at all. There's nothing actually stopping them from taking a stab at it, though. No. I mean, no. But, you know, at least Capcom's still making video games, like, regularly, with intent to make video games regularly, whereas... You know, Konami is still making more games than people give them credit they're, they're, for. They're a, making a million, something. A million percent, they totally are. And I don't just mean Metal Gear Survive. They are making a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and they, I mean, they just released Power Pro recently. You know, they, they are still making a bunch of titles. And, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is still hot for them. Right. Make a fucking VR Yu-Gi-Oh! game, you con men. I want that <laughs> game. Um, but, I don't know. Like, because for Castlevania, it was like... Iga's series was in a decline. It wasn't selling well. Uh, the what was the last one that he touched? Order of Ecclesia. Okay. Yeah. Iga's series was in decline. And okay, so he was he touched all of all the, of the, like the 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 two D yeah. looking ones. Barring uh, bar he started in Symphony. It was him and uh, Toru Hagihara who were like the guys for that. And then he didn't do Circle of the Moon at all. Nothing for Circle of the Moon. Okay. That was or, a different or, studio. Or Harmony of Despair. Uh, yes, Harmony of Despair, he did, yeah. Oh, he did? E wow. Everything okay. between- everything in that period of time, with the exception of Circle of the Moon, he touched. Including the arcade game, including Judgment, 
uh, all of wow, it. Wow, um, even the little spin-offs and dinky things. Yeah. Whoa. Well, the, the, the reason... <laughs> did you, the, did you, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The, the reason there was an online game, or, uh, well, there was Harmony of Dissonance, was because he was trying to find ways to make it sell, you know? Oh my and, god, you have to kill these guys together. That's cool. And nothing worked. Like, Judgment didn't do anything. Harmony of Despair didn't really go anywhere, ultimately. Hmm. It might have sold fine, nobody really knows. But the, the mainline games were just selling worse and worse and worse, so they took it away from him. And Did. I mean, I think they were, you know, I think they were pretty realistic about it. And it's not like his games were selling well. So it's not like, oh, they stole this franchise from him or anything. It's like, no, they were selling bad. Well, like, would you, would you, well, he was trying, but. Was you know. Lords of Shadow like a success in their eyes? Yeah, from yeah, the, the way first, it, the first Lords of Shadow. Yeah, it, for sure. Okay. Definitely. Critically and commercially, the first Lords of Shadow did great. And it was made in Spain too, so it was cheap. Or Spain, Mexico, whatever, I can't remember. Nice! Where do they speak Spanish? Oh, now you can dash through rocks. That's what it is. But only no. Axel gets it. No, he just took it. Oh, wait. Oh. So oh, you gotta give Axel it to Cinnamon. Special. Oh. Like, I wanna see, like, X goes to put it on, and Axel's like, wait, where'd it go? And then she's already breaking through rocks in the <laughs> background. All right. Now he has unpunishable approaches. Dude, imagine if you played a fighting game and your forward dash, like, had a hitbox. It'd be great. It'd be sick. And, like, I mean, a, like a, not a hurt box, but a hitbox. A hitbox, box, yeah. yeah. What does it look like? Probably the same. It's got a little, it's got a little spark at the beginning. Oh, yeah, on the front of him. It's not the biggest thrill in the world, but I guess it's something. There you go. Uh, but, yeah, like, Castlevania just, the sales went to shit. They passed it off to... Um, Mercury Steam, Mercury and Steam. the first game sold well, so they did two more with them, and... And the That's all she wrote? The 3DS one didn't really pan out. How did it, how did it sell, how did the 3DS game sell compared to the, to like, Order of Ecclesia? For example. In Japan, miserable. Nothing. In Japan, it sold fucking nothing. It was miserable. Um... Way worse than Ecclesia's, like, 50,000 or whatever it managed, you know? Uh, in North America, nobody really knows hard numbers on that, okay. but prob it probably did just as good, if not better, than those ones, but... So they expected... It, they said its, its sales expectations based on how Lords of Shadow was doing and not necessarily how the handhelds prior to that were doing. Well, no, the expectations were just like the fucking Castlevania games are selling worse and worse every time now. What's what how do we fix this? You know, because it was a long like it happened for oh, a long time. You know, so that was a silver Metor. Yeah, he probably had a lot of money on it was him. Dope. Um. So yeah, and fucking sucks. Personally, I think that uh, both um, Lords of Shadows, Mirror of Fate, the 3DS game, and um, Capcom's Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, cause they- Resident Evil Revelations also, they said, didn't really sell to what they had hoped. Sorry, did you see that? That's the motor we need to resurrect the dead body we saw in the last place. Yeah, but it got warped out to Nana, remember? Didn't it? Uh, no, 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 in the last dungeon. That body that we never picked up? Uh... There was a- there was a body. Eh, it's fine. Okay, cause it's I remember fine. we got a turtle before and it said it needed a motor or a battery or some shit, but I don't know. Don't go that way, it'll be progress, because you need to break the rocks. Um, <laughs> well, there's an item behind the door, though. Oh, then it's probably just, uh... Oh, look, you got an Ace of Spades. For, uh... uh Shadow. Nah. Yeah. Um, I, I personally, I really think that uh, Mirror of Fate, the Castlevania by Mercury Steam on 3DS, and Capcom's uh, Resident Evil Revelations that they said sold under expectations on, on 3DS alone, it did amazing on 3DS, like over 500,000 units, but they said it wasn't... Like, because it's a triple-A game, yes, Revelation. Yes. It's a full triple-A game on 3DS. Um, personally, I think both of those companies, like, should have released on Vita, too. And I know it's like, oh, Liam's the Vita fanboy. But no, like, they actually came out right when the Vita was coming out. When, they, when it was still able to sell, like, hundreds of thousands of units for titles. So, I think both those companies kind of screwed the pooch on that. But, hey. What are you going to do? I mean, hand, and they got, handheld triple-A like, is already kind of like a... Doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's like that. What does that mean? You it's, know what I mean? In, like in Nintendo games. Yeah, that, that's it. It doesn't exist anymore. It, it, like, 
AAA handheld games existed for a short period from Game like, Boy Advance. No, from the end of 2011 to the <laughs> end of 2012, right? Yeah. Where you got uh, Uncharted, Golden Abyss, that Kingdom Hearts Unit game, 13. probably. Yeah, you got um, um, the, Resident the Evil Square PSP, Resident games. Evil Revelations. Right? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> that, like that sentence doesn't mean anything. There's, they, they, they Sadly. Don't, the the Sadly. God, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. You know, like. No, it sucks. And na now it's just, yeah, whatever Nintendo makes. And, well, in all fairness, Square Enix is still doing... Like, I wouldn't really call them all AAA, but Square Enix still does a bunch of Uh, was there good, a rock in here? No. Uh, this is where you got That's where the, I got it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Um, Square okay. Enix still does big stuff, like uh, Dragon Quest Monsters on the 3DS is, is, is pretty big. Um, uh, uh, Dragon Quest Builders, you know, the Minecraft oh, God, one? No, no, hold on, hold on. The, the, oh, shit, no, 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 sorry. Blah. Rocks. I'm just uh, thinking of where the rocks are. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, uh, builders, yeah. the, the Minecraft one just came out on the Vita, and, and uh, uh, World of Final Fantasy, the, the monster catching one, that's coming. But like, AAA handhelds is, is just Nintendo and Capcom now. Where it's like, is Monster, does Monster Hunter count as a AAA game? Uh, it's the closest thing to one at it's, this point. Yeah, exactly. Like that and Pokemon. It'll right? have to count. Yeah. Uh, it, it, like, though, if you don't... Oh, he absorbs fire. Okay. A thunder does 100% damage. No, oh, the water, water does 150, You want to so put him in the water. Do the big Use wave. axles wave. Yeah. Is the, glue, the, the blue thing going to absorb the wave? Uh, Probably. It, it will bounce off of him, yes. Will it bounce off or absorb? Uh, it, it won't absorb. It'll just soften the damage. Okay. So, you build this up for now. Um... I want, though, like, is there something you can use to sort of, I guess, explain, uh... Like what AAA definitively is? Not, not, no, not what it <laughs> definitively is, but like what, it, where your love for handhelds in such a unique way, like where where it came from. Oh yeah, totally. You know, uh, my parents were divorced since since I was two, right? So, ever since I can remember, I was always going back and forth between my mom and my dad's house. Okay. And like I could only bring certain stuff with me, right? You know, and. When I got, when I got, I mean, I had a, a a Genesis at my dad's, and my cousins next door had an NES, right? So I always played with those. But uh, when I got a Game Boy when I was seven, it was like this was the first, like a, this was the first, like quote unquote valuable thing I owned. Okay. I mean, Game Boys were it was it was they were you know it was Game Boy Color. It was only like a hundred bucks at the time, you know. But like as a kid, that's that's worth a lot. That sense of ownership of like this is my fancy electronic thing. Yep. And also, like, yeah, being able to bring it back and forth between my parents' plates. Like, I really loved, I really did love video games, even though I, you know, only had the games that came across my desk, right? But, okay. like, that was the first opportunity where it was like, oh, I can bring these video games with me to where, to both the places I have to live. Like, besides the fact that, you know, I lived out in the country and I had hour-long bus rides to school, there and back, right? So I'd have two hours a day of just what are you what are you gonna do? Well, I could play my Game Boy. I'll fucking I'll fucking do it. And honestly, I think that's where most of it comes from is like constantly like living in the lots, country and lots of transit, lots of transit, and having to live in two places that I had to switch back and forth between. Like, plus mm. just liking video games. And, okay, you know, right place, right Cause, time. Because when yeah, because yeah. when I think about it, there's definitely some times in my life where there was a lot of transit and I like. I had a fuck ton of shit to play, yeah. but then there were times when, uh, like, there was nothing like that. And I remember, like, when I played through Ghost Babel, yeah. I did so crouching over <laughs> a table at home to get the light. Yeah, yeah with a, with my fucking pass through worm light. Yeah, worm lights are dope. But there was just there was no actual reason to be. Yeah, you were yeah, you just was, were playing it on a. Game I was Boy. playing it at a Game Boy at home. There with was my no couch. necessity. You were just yeah. So I no, got nothing sure. out of it particularly. So I, I kind of like was yeah. like ah, I kind of wish I didn't have to play this here, which they then, you know, obviously there's, there's, uh... Then Super they ported Game Ghost Babel to every console. <laughs> and, and that solved that problem. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah, Super Game Boy, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, I mean, shit. E even, even nowadays, like, I'll play handheld games at home for sure, but, like, I kind of appreciate the freedom to play them at home. Like, I can play them on the couch while my girlfriend's doing anything on the TV, or I can play I can play them in bed, which I often do and is my preferred place to play them, probably. But, right. uh... And then, like, you know, I'm, I'm still 
on the metro constantly, whether I'm coming... I mean, now I'm just coming to Castle Super Beast pretty much, but like, you know, that's still a fair half hour trip. Like, I played Criminal Girls on the metro this morning. It was fun. It was good. Good, wholesome fun that you can only get on a handheld. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, get... you can't rub your TV screen. So some games still have a place on handhelds. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, like, I think the NX, if it is what we yeah. all hope it's going to be, if, if we'll, the, we'll be able to, like, solve a lot of problems. Yeah, me, me and Pat have spoken about it a ton. And if the NX is what we want, which is it's the Nintendo Vita that plugs into your TV. Yeah. That's 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 fine. If those right? Foxconn links, uh, leaks are real. Yeah, then that's that's totally fine. And and... That should solve the problem for pretty much everyone. Best of both worlds. Yeah, there, there were. R. Kelly. There, uh, there are rumors that like. Oh, you want to go left here? Yeah, yeah left. over there. Yeah. There are rumors that. Oh no, you didn't even need. Well, maybe there's more rocks up ahead that we don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Cool. There are rumors that, and I mean, you know, there's a billion NX rumors, and they're all meaningless. So I'm gonna say something, but it might be fucking. It might mean nothing, mm -hmm. but there were rumors that like the NX may launch uh, with only, like without the console quote unquote base existing yet. Like it might launch as a handheld first and then get that a year in or something like that. Okay. But again, it's it's just one of a zillion NX rumors, and there there may be no value to it at all. So I don't know. But yeah, if, if it if it is that thing, if it is a Nintendo Vita that plugs into your your that'll television, be, that'll be fucking perfect. Yeah, it'll be good for a lot of people. And I mean, frankly, fuck the the as long like if it's a handheld, the hardware is going to be fucking mean in this day and age. You know, I I, I kind of lambasted the 3DS a lot for being really behind on the hardware front. Um, it, it was, I, I think the 3DS was more behind relative to its release date than the DS was relative to its release date, you know? Okay. Because at least when the DS came out, it was fucking fresh, right? Like, there's nothing like the DS. The the DS Lite is still the, the best looking thing ever. Yeah, I know you so, like that one a so lot. So clean. I think the DSi was the best model in the end. It, it has the clicky buttons as opposed to the mushy ones that the... The DS Lite has, but they're all they're all fucking good. I think you're still anti-shot. Yeah, you're. But like the DS yeah. was fucking fresh, but like the 3DS was like, once you get over, and, and I mean I fucking, like I, I've seen a lot of people, like upset at me over the last years about like oh why do you hate the 3DS? Why are you such a, a fucking fanboy? And it's like, I got a 3DS. I, I think I told the story right of like the illegal 3DS I got. I don't remember. Right. It. Where my friend who worked at a store, oh yeah, snatched street it date. from the store for me before the street date. Right. Yeah. I mean, I paid for it. Yeah. But <laughs> like, that was a fucking illegal thing to get the 3DS ahead of time. That was a bad. I I loved the 3DS for that first year or two, or like, until like when the Vita came out, I was just like, oh my god, it was more behind than I thought, mm. and like the 240p is not okay. <laughs> And three, and I, I was a fucking warrior for 3D as well. Like when that was coming out, yeah, I was a fucking warrior for that. Like, yeah, 3D is so cool, and I, I mean, I still use the 3D every time I play it, every time. But I still, there's I, no I, value. I ended to up most turning games. it off for the for the most part. Yeah, um, and I feel like I don't have as many opportunities in my life to really sit down and play a handheld. You know, like. There's not as many, or, or you mean where it's like necessitated, where where it as would, opposed to you could just sit down and play your PC or your console or whatever. Yeah, yeah, where it would make sense, you know. Or and if I do, then it's not for more than like a ten minute gap at a time. But it's just where I find myself in life right yeah. now. Yeah, no, know? of course. Um, and that might change in the future, but it doesn't. I can't see what would cause it. No, for sure. I'm someone that always wants to live in an area where I don't need transit. You know. Yeah. Um. No, I agree. Yeah, so I don't know, man. But but yeah, like I like I I think that uh, the NX can do fucking wonders if that's what they end up doing with it, and whatever comes out of Sony next, nothing. <sighs> I don't know. But well, so so the but 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 what here but what here's what happened when I had my PSP. Yeah. Right. And you had that ability to plug it into your TV. Yeah. That was the video out. Fucking was everything it was to fucking me. Great. Yeah. It was it was it meant so much. And, I wish the Vita had I, that video out that got shit for I it. And I bring it up so much because yeah. it, it was... It was a the feature, too, yeah. You know, and the same thing for, like, the... Go back to the fucking Nomad. Yeah. You know, like... 
So that like it's been an aspiration for a long time for a lot of companies. Yeah, I I, I really it, it was a fucking planned feature on the Vita to have a a, a, a mini HDMI. But then uh, for whatever reason it, it got uh... it got slashed. Okay, a couple things got slashed, but that was the that's probably the the main one, I guess. Then the second main one is sub third party support, but um, yeah. It's nice. I have a kit. I have a Vita kit. It has a, a mini HDMI out. I've used it. It's nice, but um, like the Vita TV is just two half in the bag. It's not. It's not the full package in any way, shape, or form. And hopefully the NX can do that. But like on if they if they were to make a second one, like the the real question is, does the NX completely invalidate the Vita, right? It's likely going to if... But that's the... Right? Is it going to ship with two sticks and the full layout of buttons and no, like, Nintendo weird shit? And I don't mean Nintendo weird shit like cool stuff. I mean Nintendo weird shit like publishers can't ship games bigger than 43 megs. Oh. Uh, like, I mean, Nintendo weird shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, stuff, okay. right? Right. That they have done in the past. I mean, they're, they're, they're better than they ever have been with their weird shit. But, you know... As long as it doesn't ship with any of that, and it's got all the buttons, I mean, it's a, like it seems like it's a hundred percent chance that it's going to be more powerful than the Vita, because it would be hard not to be stronger than a piece of hardware from 2011. You know? Yeah. Um, the the like but, as long as it's not ignored in the dev cycle, as long as they have titles that like it's it's within the range of stuff shit that it's like it makes sense for us to port to it. Yeah. Then I think it'll it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean. You know, it's got some strengths already that, like, a lot of people overlook because they don't, because they may not have a 3DS. Like, there are a lot of good, bigger Japanese titles that are liable to do better when it's also, a, like, if it's a console and a handheld. You know, stuff like Monster Hunter, if they manage to keep it on lock exclusively. Um, you know, stuff like Ace Attorney, the, the various franchises that they have exclusive, Etrian Odyssey, uh, seemingly Shin Megami Tensei is fucking locked down on Nintendo. I don't know how that happened, but, um, you know, that that's all stuff that... Yeah, that's, a, that's a Nintendo franchise Like, now, the support's right? there. Yeah, it's, no, it's, SMT's been locked yeah, down. It's it crazy. Is, it is. Persona, no. It's Persona's not. on Sony, but... I guess they, they feel like they have Persona elsewhere so they can, they can play with the uh, SMT, yeah. right? No, exactly. Um, but I, I, you know, it, I don't think... Like, all the indie developers are going to go there, obviously. It's, it's not a question. There's a lot of indie developers on Wii U, even though it's, like... I, I was talking with Matt the other day, and we're, we're like... we that way. Straight ahead to the inn. Yeah, because there's no rocks left This in here. room was nothing. They, there was absolutely nothing in here. Go and left. And then there go was... Left. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we just progress. Um, I was talking with Matt the other day, and, like, yeah, we use, like, arguably the worst modern platform to release a title on now i don't think that's arguable uh i think it's yeah exactly it's like, clearly the worst yeah we were only saying arguable because like without hard numbers but yeah let's be real man yeah exactly um but like there are still a lot of indie developers you know people i still love nintendo i do and it's just you know that they've been in weird places with their hardware but the nx should be the one where it's finally like actually like super up to snuff and kosher to develop on and shit you know uh that but they, they also need to like secure oh shit i yeah. actually fucked up you ran out of time i, I wasn't thinking you shit. tripped and did shitty uh, this is the first time for everything all right well that's what that looks like yeah stupid but there's gonna be a lot of developers too in japan who are like caught in a really weird spot and it'll it'll be like Either Sony's gonna have to scoop them up on PS4 and PSVR, or Nintendo's gonna have to scoop them up on NX because they're gonna be in a weird place. And that's that's developers like um, Nipponichi Software and Marvelous uh, and Compile Heart who still make like exclusives on the Vita and stuff. They're gonna have nowhere to go, right? Mm -hmm. So either they go PS4, which is liable to be where they go since they're already kind of transitioning there. Um, or they go NX and like it, I know they're not high value developers in the grand scheme of things, but there's a lot of them. There's not just those three, and for for the Japanese market and for like the core audience in North America, those are those are good gets to have. You know, it's funny that um, 
Like something like like you, the VR seems like the most innovative place to go now, but like it's not Nintendo that's doing that because it's an expensive innovation. Yeah, but I mean, it, but like in it, like it, yeah, it should be something that Nintendo would spearhead. You know, it's the kind of thing you could imagine seeing uh, coming from them. Yeah, but at the same time, like I do respect that there's a lot of limitations for VR, and it's kind of like. Uh, it's quite bullish to release VR in the state that it is right now. Or, you know, because right now, like, you pretty much just want to do seated experiences, right? Like, doing anything beyond that on PlayStation VR is... It's highly limited, you know? Mm -hmm. there, there are problems. VR, like, it's so early days for VR that we don't even know how to fucking move a character around properly yet. Um, like, so, like... It's, it's like, almost... Like, at least the 3DS's stylus and shit, they had it all down, and it just fucking worked, and did yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I mean, I, like, I could see... I could imagine a world where, like, Nintendo actually uh, released a crazy VR console while yeah. no one else was doing it, and, like, tried to build up... Um, oh, there we go. Tried to build up some kind of, like... Uh, like like the Wii, unique set of games, and, yeah. and developers are making just those types of things. I mean, honestly, if they were to pick one, VR or AR right now, AR would be a better pick, because, like... So, like, the, the VR dream, right? The VR dream is, is full-body... Um, full-body immersion, right? Yes. Where you think you're there, and you feel yourself walking around, and... You know, for all intents and purposes, your mind is there, but you're in a completely virtual world, right? There's With or nothing. without room scale. No, like you're lying on a bed. You know oh, what I mean? Sure, sure. Like that's the 100% dream yeah, for, okay. for VR, right? Yeah. We're like... Back to the elevator. We're like less than 1% of the way there. Like right now we put a monitor on your face with some lenses and we put two two sticks in your hand and, and maybe if you buy the expensive one you can walk around a room a little bit, right? That's our VR. Compared to the dream, which is like no, like you're you're. We're not even close to that. None of that technology fucking exists yet. Oh, oh. it's fucking spider. <laughs> is he the boss in this area? Probably. You. Where you been? Where you at? A long time no see, X. See, this is also what's like. Shadow. Why doesn't a traitor just sound like a normal person even when they're a traitor? Yeah. Like, why do you have to start talking no evil, too? <laughs> you yeah, know? Never hire the evil sounding guys. Why can't your attitude just be like, metal. yeah, you know what? The Supra Force Metal? What's it's, that? It's better than Supra. You Wait, we actually don't. Know. Do we know what that is? No, we it's don't. improved form of Force Metal that the Rebellion Army is studying to help all Reploids achieve Proofread your ideal. text. You missed you a space there. can't have it. Who's the waifu Chief that's gonna build it for us, and how do we save her? What is it yeah. That the Super Force Metal does exactly. There's no need for me to describe the effects. Take me. God, your fucking evil teeth face. face. No. Yeah. So dumb. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a quick one. 